Hello. Alcohol may be man's worst enemy, but the Bible says, love your enemy. So this topic, we are going to study aperitif, the French word for alcohol, phenols, thiols, ethers, and sulfites. Now alcohol, phenols, and ethers, they are organic derivatives of water. You know water is H2O, right? So it's HOH bond versus the alcohol, which is ROH, the phenol. AROH and for ether ROR. For thiols and sulfites, they are just the corresponding sulfur analogs. You doping of the oxygen with sulfur. They all come from group 6 to the chalcogen series. For the alcohol and thiol, we are restricted to compounds that have the OH group or SH group bonded to a saturated sp3 hybridized carbon atom. So the drawing here represents the alcohol, thiol, as such. For the phenol and thiophenol, it must be compounded with the OH and SH bond to a phenol ring or the aromatic ring. Alcohols occur widely. They are omnipresent with many, many industrial uses and of course pharmaceutical applications. Methanol is one of the most important solvent of all industrial chemicals. In the industry, it is used as a solvent and as a starting material for the production of formaldehyde, which is a form of preservative defined uh, in Caucasus, and of course in the formation of plastics. In the plastics extrusion molding, you need, the f you need to have formaldehyde. So that's why it's very bad for workers to work in the factory that makes plastic. It is carcinogenic, that means it will cause cancer. And of course, methanol is used to produce acetic acid, vinegar, which can be used to make big drugs. Methanol, of course, is toxic to humans, so please don't drink it, no matter how sweet it tastes. It is manufactured by the catalytic reduction of carbon monoxide with hydrogen gas. This is a catalyst here, a heterogeneous catalyst, zinc oxide, Chromium, chromium is like chromium oxide, chromium three oxide in particular, under very high temperature. Ethanol, one of the first organic chemicals to be prepared and purified. Purified what? Distilled so that human can drink. Consumption. It is used. It is produced by the fermentation of grains, sugars in ancient times, and today we go through the fermentation of corn, barley, and sorghum. So there was a debate in Brazil, says that the government is trying to use too much land to generate corn, corn fuels, but then they do not feed the people using corn. They produce a lot of alcohol, biofuel, and export it. And they're saying that this is not ethical because we should feed the people first. It's more of like a social issue. Then uh, it is more important than the economic issue, which is to gain the money from the sale. Sorghum, for those of you who watch three meals a day, you know what is it in Korea? They love to have sorghum. Ethanol for non beverage is used as a chemical intermediate that's obtained from the acid catalyzed hydration of ethylene or ethene. Basically, we have ethene. Back to the topic, if you recall the lecture, we pump in steam, right? This is not water because water and alkene they don't mix. Steam, which is a gas, gas has reaction to form an alcohol. For phenol, it occurs widely in living organisms and they're intermediates in the industry to synthesize the products, especially glues, gels, and antiseptics. There are great disinfectants found in coal tar. None of you or even myself we have come across that. We don't work there. Methyl salicylate is a flavoring agent found in the oil of wintergreen. It's a form of ester, the smell. Urushiols are the allergenic constituents of poison oak and poison ivy. Poison ivy. Batman. The word phenol is the name of both a specific compound and the class of the compounds that has that part here. So you see this is a form of phenol because we have a phenol but it is a derivative from it. Dye ethyl ether is one of the most common ether. Long history in medicinal use because it was used as an anesthetic agent and right now in the industry it's a solvent. If you go to any chemistry lab, 
I believe you will smell some ether, and ether must be present because we use this as a form of extraction. It's a good solvent. And Nysol is a pleasant smelling aromatic ether used in perfumery. THF, you have come across this. Tetra hydrofuran is a cyclic ether that is often used as a solvent. Thiols sulfides are found in a lot of biomolecules in the body in the enzymes. Now for the alcohol classification, let's go back to the nomenclature. Very similar to the alcohol halide and alcohol benzenes. Primary alcohol, a carbon attached to an OH group with one R group. Secondary alcohol, two R groups. Tertiary, three R groups. In the UPEC system, all the alcohols must end with O. OL. Alright, except for one of them. Low, right? This is not alcohol. So we select the longest carbon chain containing the hydroxy group, which is the OH group, and then derive the name of the parent by replacing the E ending corresponding alkene now uh, alkane change to all. So basically you just see the example. Longest chain here five carbon with the alcohol. This is a pentan two O with a substituent at the second position, so it's two methyl pentan two O. For this, we have cis because right, both the alcohol they are both pointing to the same directions. So cis, cis cyclohexane one four diol two alcohol groups. Next part, three phenyl butanol longest chain here four carbon alcohol at the second position because it's the main functional group. Three substituent. Some alcohol have common names, which is also accepted by UPAC. Benzyl alcohol called phenylmethanol. This is the UPAC name, common name. Prop 2 in 1 no is called the allylic alcohol or allyl alcohol. Third butyl alcohol is actually called 2 methyl propyl 2 Ethylene glycol, which is used as an antifreeze in cars in cold countries, especially Canada. Ethan 1 2 diol and propyl 1 2 3 are we find in glycerol, fats, triglyceride. Phenols are named as using UPEC rules when phenol is the parent. So this molecule here has got free methyl phenol because this is my parent group and we have a substituent called the methyl group here. Free isopropyl 4 methyl phenol. I comes before M 